and just hear me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch Nobody and they don't give a fuck yeah this man, this man hit me he would grab the rock and it hit me in my face because i would have given my number Nobody and is. all y'all just watch what you want to do you want to do what do y'all want y'all to do i want y'all to be a man i want y'all to be a man do something y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face so by now everybody's seen the video of the young lady screaming all the men should have whooped this man's ass for hitting her in the face with a brick how many times have we told you all y'all go out engage with people in these crazy areas men Women, people are out here crazy these days, period. People are crazy. And we keep trying to tell you, stay away, don't engage, but no. Now, he may have asked for your phone number, but what did you say afterwards to the crazy man? Because I'm not sitting up here saying you should hit somebody with a fucking brick. You shouldn't even hit not on a woman, anybody with a brick. So for the idea, for this man to even think to take a brick, and hit this woman in the face will tell you he don't give a damn and every man sat around there saw this shit and it probably happened real quick so nobody had a chance to respond but even after that everybody realized crazy dudes run with more crazy dudes but well, i run my ass up here and try to jump on this dude to defend this woman i don't know who been running around here acting a damn fool all night I'm going to get my ass stomped out. And if I survive, I'm constantly watching my back now for the crazy crew who keep fucking with me every time I come out or they see me on sight, as they say. See, that's why I do someone get involved with this shit. Because it won't end with us that one night. It will continue and continue every time you run across this dude and his friends. So your ladies thinking that men that have nothing to do with you is going to run out here and fuck up his life because you are uncovered. No, it's not going to happen. And I tell people all the time, I'm not going to do it. Nobody else around here is going to do it. I got family. I got to take care. I got to protect. You want to go to these fucked up clubs and hang out in these fucked up spots and deal with these crazy ass dudes? Then you continue doing what you're doing. But there's other places out here you can go hang out that don't have these violent ass dudes hanging around. That's what we try to say. You have to change where you're going and what you're doing. Now y'all can blame all the black men in the world. Who gives a fuck? Do that. Blame them. That ain't going to fix the damn problem. Because some people are mentally fucked up. And we know they messed up. But nobody wants to claim it until something happens. You know your son is, has some issues beating on women. Y'all know it. You know your uncle does it. All this other stuff. And you got these women out here doing the same crap. Even more now. I see more women videos than men out here fighting and doing all this crazy shit. But nonetheless... Y'all need to stop thinking every black man is supposed to come running to your fucking savior when you out here doing whatever, uncovered, moving around. And then there's no report. No police report. Your friends that was with you or whoever was with you, nobody recorded any of this, which y'all love to record. Nobody got the license plate because you said he got in the car and drove off. Nobody got the license plate. None of the people you was traveling with. And not one police report. Why is that? And everybody jumping online donating money to her. Why are y'all giving her money? Hmm? The woman been trying to go viral for years. And she finally got a viral moment. That's why she was recording it the way she was. In the hospital recording it outside recording it 
You did all this recording, but yet forget to call the police. But no, you want some street justice on this Negro. So say if you dudes did jump out there and beat the crap out this dude, fuck him up, he can't breathe, he can't do anything. Guess who gonna be in jail the next week for doing this? They don't care if you come into her defense. Because crazy people have families too. So now you're going to find your ass in court talking about you got upset because he hit this woman with a brick. And they're like, what woman? Well, I don't know who she was. She was just out there. Now you fighting for your fucking <laughs> freedom. But everybody said, oh, but he came and he did this. Yes. Heroes end up dead. Y'all do know that. And for somebody to call me someone, I'm an old soldier. 27 year vet. Ain't nothing weak, sorry, punk about me whatsoever. But I'm not jumping in your shit. I tell my sons the same thing. Y'all better find somebody that protect you or do something else out here. But looking for an innocent black man to jump in your shit. I'm, and these guys to standing around, they don't know what's going on. You get into it with this guy and this shit, like I said, this shit probably happened quick. And you now everybody calling all these dudes, all these names and all this stuff. Y'all cowards and y'all this. What do y'all want the dudes to do? Go stomp this guy out? Like, like I said. Not all of them have assault charges on them. Now you got to go back home and tell your wife you probably going to go to jail for physically assaulting somebody over a woman you don't fucking know. Because them two get into it and he hit her ass with a brick. Black people, we got we to gotta be thinking we keep thinking this street shit is where we supposed to be moving and that's not it. This makes no freaking sense. And I'm gonna show you a video of this young lady that she said about men. See, she's, a, she's one of those that go around doing these stupid ass skits, slapping white people in, in honor restaurants or restorations. That's what she does. Then she talks shit about y'all regular biological women because she's supposed to be a lesbian or some shit, I guess. So she actually talks shit about all you other black women. She say the trans people made y'all and all this other shit because y'all trying to look like them. All kind of crazy shit she got. If you go on Twitter, you can find all her shit. I'm not going to post all that shit, but I am going to show you what she did say. And she said a whole lot of other shit about every other group and whatever thing. So I don't know what side she's on, but she definitely said she didn't need men. Protect men, don't protect, don't need no man, all this shit. Lesbian and feminism. She's a feminist, I guess, was before everything else. And how they put down men to step over all that. All kind of crazy shit. So Biden, the dude said, as one dude came out and said, well, she's been running around the community. And so you gotta understand how these guys are talking. So he said, she's in the community doing this stuff. And she comes around the community doing, acting crazy, doing this stuff. So most people, Americans don't talk like that. We don't say in the community, we'll say they came around a neighborhood and things of that nature. And all these guys have accents. So wherever she is, it's in an area where most of a lot of immigrant, black immigrants hang out. So, you know, like we have to go to like a Jamaican club. A lot of people hang out Jamaicans, hang out Jamaican clubs. But all these people, cause she's Somalian, so I don't know, or Nigerian or something. I think she's Somalian, but a lot of stuff with something come out about Nigerian. So it's a lot of guys with some um, different backgrounds. Cause everybody, the dudes that came out and talked, they all had accents. 
So it wasn't uh, foundational black Americans. It was some immigrant type situation. But everybody see, because you're black, everybody say, well, y'all black men, y'all black men. From where he's from, this dude might be from, hitting somebody with a fucking brick is nothing. This is the first time I heard of an incident of a black man doing something like this. So everybody act like it's crazy. Well, no, they, you know, they've done some other crazy shit, but just, just to hit a woman in the face with a brick and just drive off from the club or whatever and nothing said. It's just not, you know what I'm saying? Tanya TKO did a whole segment about it last night. And I actually looked at it. I don't really pay much attention to her stuff, but I actually looked at it to see what she had to say about it. And she brought up a lot of good things about this girl. A lot of people didn't like it until they saw her behavior and her stance on things. And like I said, nobody deserves to get hit with a brick. We got that. Nobody deserves to get punched for somebody saying something. Nobody deserves to get stabbed. None, all this stuff, nobody deserves this. But the thing you can't understand is you can't control how somebody else is going to react to what you do or say to them. You cannot control it. You may think it's nothing, but to them, it's a big thing. And if this woman was out here, this dude already might have low self-esteem about certain things. And he asks for your number. And then you go off and start laughing and talking shit. And then he got embarrassed. Then he reacted. You see what I'm saying? Everybody's not built the same. Y'all trying to make all the men feel and should do the same. We're not all built the same. That wouldn't have bothered me. I wouldn't have gave a fuck. But I've seen what dudes when they got embarrassed and how they reacted. They do it with us. You ever see dudes sitting around, playing around, and one get embarrassed, next thing you know, he ready to fight? That's why we don't do it. But y'all constantly do this shit, and we tell y'all, you're going to run up on one of these crazy ones and going to knock the shit out of you. That's what happened. But check this video out. I, I hope every black woman is kissing another black woman because we are the innate protectors and the providers. We protect societies, we protect communities with our intellectual property, with, with our lived experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. We're the ones and the two. Bitch, not even the three. Because <laughs> men are not providers and protectors, not innately, because they only protect what they possess. Well, we protect everybody and we provide, baby, okay? So I hope you catch a girl tonight because I hope I do. Ew! <laughs> and don't forget, before there was feminism, it was lesbians who were living those lives without worried about niggas. Like, they were not worried about niggas. They were decentering men. So before there was feminism, there were lesbians. Hey, excuse me, thank you. So as you can see, she says she doesn't need men. So why are you calling on them now? 